An herbarium is a collection of dried plants for scientific study. So plants have been collected for, for uh, many, many years, going back to the Middle Ages. Starting out, they were collected mostly for medicinal purposes. We have about 7.3 million specimens, which makes us the fourth largest herbarium among the top four in the world. So now we're coming into our cold storage room. This is, the, this is kept at about 54 degrees, um, and it's the holding space. When, when the plant specimens first arrive at the garden, they come in here, right from the field. Uh, on this side of the room, all of the specimens are our staff's field collections, um, and those are waiting to be identified. Sometimes it takes a few months for specimens to be identified. Sometimes it takes 50 years. It depends on whether or not that plant group has a specialist. On this side, all of these plants are already identified, and they're just waiting their turn to go up to the mounting room, where they'll be glued to paper and then eventually filed in the herbarium. So this is the specimen mounting room. All of the plants that come into the New York Botanical Garden each year from all of our many field expeditions eventually end up here. And this is the room where they're turned from field specimens into permanent archives that are meant to be kept indefinitely. What makes it a good specimen is if it shows all the features that are um, important to see. In the mounting room, the, we have several people highly skilled in taking these specimens from their newspaper, gluing them onto a piece of paper. We just use a basic Elmer's type of white glue. Sometimes the woody plants aren't completely flat, so they can use glue, but sometimes they also have to stitch down the plant. Sometimes the plant has bits that come off, which have to be put in a little packet, um, and they also try to make it look attractive as well. Now we're coming into the herbarium. This is the actual archive where the specimens are stored. This is a typical floor. It contains about 2,000 cabinets that are arranged on these movable aisles. The steel cabinets that uh, we have in the herbarium are all specially designed for this purpose. In fact, this is even called the New York Botanical Style uh, Herbarium Cabinet. There, each cabinet has 52 shelves. The, plants, uh, the plant specimens are put in paper cardboard folders. They're arranged by plant relationships, uh, by their family. Every plant belongs to a family. And they then are also arranged in these uh, outer folders which are color coded. Here's a specimen that was collected fairly recently actually 2001 from the Inner Mountain West where we've been focusing a lot of our collecting activity uh, for the past 50 years. Here's a specimen that was actually was collected by Charles Darwin. Um, we don't think of Darwin much as a botanical collector and in this case the specimen is actually not even a flowering plant, it's a tiny moss that he collected on the voyage of the Beagle. We also have uh, specimens like Darwin that are very old. Here's one that's even older. Here's a specimen from the Captain Cook voyage, uh, which went around the, the Cape of, of Good Hope and, the, the, and Cape Horn in the 1700s. This is a specimen collected from Tierra del Fuego. We also, since the mid-90s, have been creating a virtual herbarium. We've been digitizing the specimens and making them available online so that anyone at any time can consult the herbarium just by coming to our virtual herbarium website and searching. We would just capture an image uh, using a high quality but an instant capture uh, image and then we put them online. Instead of writing a request wondering what specimens do you have of this plant or that plant, they could simply go online and look and find out. One of the things I really enjoy is taking a walk through the herbarium every day. And as I walk around, I see my staff who are working on projects. Um, I, I like to walk around and just see, see science in action.